Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we're still looking at Mask and this video will be about Series 1 one of the flagship vehicles which is Rhino which is a very cool toy so let's take a closer look and see what hidden treasures this vehicle has to show us Fuck! Right, so here's Rhino in all its glory, and I just found out about. Right, so here's Rhino rig in all its glory, and I just found out about the battery ram, which I will go into more details in a minute. But uh, this vehicle is 100% complete. I've had it since I was uh, a kid. I went to Toys Us and bought it, and it came with two figures. One, which is Matt Tracker, with his Ultra Flash mask which you can see from the, the main mask logo in the background, the famous one, that this mask was based on. So, put his mask on. This is Ultra Flash. He didn't use it very often in the cartoon, only about two or three times. And it basically um, sent out a, a blinding light to anyone he wanted to fire it at. And the other one is Bruce Sutto, who's one of the main characters with Matt. And his mask was a lifter. And basically, he could lift objects up like people or vehicles or rocks and stuff. And I'm actually uh, friends with the guy who did the voices for Bruce and Matt Tracker on Facebook. So he's a Facebook friend, so it doesn't really count, but I'll speak to him occasionally. And he did the voice for Matt, Bruce, and a couple of others, I think. I think he might have done it for... Um, Buddy Hawks as well, but that's the two figures. And let's have a look at the vehicle. So, so this one's in quite good condition. Bit of sticker wear on it. Let's turn it around, and yep, yeah, wheels all still working. It's got mud flaps at the back of it, which I'll put in there. There we go. Uh, doors all open. You can fit the people inside of it whoever wants to go in it and this button here on the right fires out the door so if Matt's fed up with T-Bob or Scott one day he can just kick him out over a cliff I'll lock that back into position and if you turn it round to the main side again like I found out earlier in the video if you press this button on the left, it fires out its main battering ram, which is quite powerful. It's very good. And also the cannons move on the front. Ugh. Get them to come round. Okay. That's what you saw in the cartoon. And then its attack position tech mode, pull that bit out there, lift that up, never was too sure which way that went, and it's got a door, and it's basically got the control centre inside, which they use quite a bit, just about see it in there, still got the stickers, it's quite nice, and it's got this big fuck off missile, which is probably the largest suppository I've ever seen in the world. And I'm not going to fire it right out because I've let my lesson now. But um, these weapons are quite powerful for toys that is not real life. So they don't make vehicles like this anymore where you, you could take your dog's eye out or shoot the cat in the balls with it. So I'll fire the missile. That's quite a hefty thing. And there it is. So I'll lock that back in place. And also the last feature on this vehicle is the back of it. So you oh, pull it like so, and that makes a little recon vehicle, which I don't think they use that much in the cartoon, but it was mainly used for, I think it's Bruce when in it. There he is, let's put him in it. Put him off camera for a sec. 
It's like a little mobile portaloo. There it is, just about just about sitting in it, taking a taking a dump so he can get rid of his, his dump of lifter mask afterwards and throw it on someone. So that's it for Rhino in all its glory. And if you're a mask fan and haven't got this, it's definitely worth picking up. It's one of the most probably expensive ones to get to get some nice chrome work on it and all the all the little items that go missing and yeah definitely worth getting so that's it for this video so goodbye from Matt Tracker and Bruce Sutto who's still having a dump and see you soon for some more mask toys <laughs>